Well, it's funny how things work out when you're doing this kind of thing. I've made a lot of clamps in the past and I've made videos on most of those anyway. But one that I always wanted to do was one made entirely from steel. So circumstances that you might be aware of have uh, reawakened my interest in making clamps again. So I figured now was as good a time as any. Not the best time of year, I have to do it all inside my shop. And since it's cold out, I can't really open the doors and windows. I'll let all the heat up. Now my welding here is not great. I'm using flux core wire to do the welding with. I don't have welding gas for my machine. So there is gonna be a lot of spatter, but spatter only affects how it looks. It really doesn't affect how strong it is. Flux core wire actually makes a stronger weld than a gas shielded MIG wire will. And plus you don't have to mess around with gas. So anyway, the clamp design is based loosely on my wooden bar clamp that has the threaded rod in the spine and uses another short piece of threaded rod to lock into that so that you can position the moving jaw anywhere on the clamp and still, you know, without a lot of cranking. So I thought I'd do that here and I worked on the plan a little bit, trying to optimize it. Because when you're working with steel, you have a lot more options. You don't have to rely on, you know, screws or anything or glue or complicated joinery to, to make parts go together properly you can just weld them and everything will be great now this is mild steel and mild steel is not known for its stiffness or its strength when compared to other types of steel. So there is a limit to how much force this clamp can apply before it starts to bend and yield under the pressure. To lock the moving jaw in place, like I said, there's a short piece of threaded rod that engages in the long piece that I'm welding onto the bar. The long piece that I'm welding onto the bar also adds a considerable amount of strength to that bar. I'll see after I'm finished with it and tested how much strength that actually is. So I wanted to do this with as few parts as possible, also with the fewest number of complex cuts or you know holes to drill or whatnot. So the moving jaw hooks over the bar from the front and then there are two tabs with notches cut into them that fit right on the back of the bar there. And then I'll position the thing correctly and weld those tabs in place. Now of course there's quite a lot to it. Whenever you go about doing something like this you realize how much work one of these things is to make from scratch. But I expect that this clamp will be around for many, many years to come. For the lead screw on this, I wanted to use half inch, but I thought it would be too big for this, so I went to 3 8 inch threaded rod, and those thread into two 3 8 inch nuts that are welded into the plates on the moving jaw. So originally for the pad, I was gonna use a wooden one with the washer glued on and all that like I normally do, but then I got an idea that I would use a piece of pipe and have the nut fit inside the pipe. And then the washer that holds it onto the rod could be welded onto that piece of pipe. And then the pad that goes on the front could be welded to that so that the nut is captured inside there, but still free to move. Last thing to do is to make the handle and glue that on. I'm using a piece of maple. I'm just gonna use polyurethane construction adhesive to glue it in place and then I'll pin it after the glue dries. Anyway, if you're interested in seeing how strong this clamp is, there will be a video on that and there'll be a link in the description. Anyway, I hope this project was enjoyable and informative and I'll see you next time.